We have a, a special guest. Outback Zach is here. Here you go. He's like kind of like Crocodile Dundee, kind of like Steve Irwin, you know, the Crocodile Hunter, the kind of a combination. Only better. Only better. And he's here. Get to meet him coming up in just a minute. Summer straight from the Outback. Wildlife specialist Zach Hart, a.k.a. Outback Zach. Look what I found. These little rippers are my favorite when I was a young tiger. <laughs> because they're crazy like me. No, that's not it. Maybe it's because of their cute little ranariums, their noses. No, it's because these guys are the happiest animal beings of all animals. Look at them. They're always having an awesome time. These are Asian small clawed honors, Aeonic scenario of the amazing Musclidae family. They are the smallest of the 13 species of otter, but don't think that's going to slow them down. On land, these guys move faster than me, and I move like frickin' lightning. We're going through the jungles of northern New Guinea, <laughs> and you have to walk very carefully. Question. What's hairy? Has strong curved claws, can climb trees, and is known to hibernate? Black bears. Ursus americanus. And no, I did not make that up. Place way up in the San Bernardino Mountains of California, called Wild Haven Ranch, a sanctuary for rehabilitated exotic species. Now this is Little Bear. Ain't she precious? Little Bear is one of four female black bears that live here. Now she started her life out in the wilderness, her natural home, as a normal, bubbly, bouncing baby bear. And as it is to all bear cubs, their mum is their everything. But one day, when little bear was just three months old, something happened. This is the red kangaroo, Macropus rufus. And he's more interested in my boots than in the carrot, because he's thinking, I'm not a rabbit. And these guys can hop up to 25 feet in length. Is that pretty good? Is that pretty good? There's a goose. Look at a goose. Now check out their fancy little forepaws. These guys are the only species of otter to catch prey with their paws. They're partially webbed to help with swimming, <laughs> but have cute little rubbery human-like fingers. What do you see them juggle? And on the ends, a tiny little vestigial claws. Well, what does vestigial mean, Dr. Doolittle? Oh, geez, I'm th th thanks for asking. Vestigial means their ancestors may have used claws at some time. But these guys here, my friends, have evolved not to need them anymore. Kind of like us in our appendix. Or some canine breeds and their dew claws. And they love bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so therapeutic animal beings. They really are. Are you looking for some adventure in your life? Some fun, excitement, and a rocking way to spend your weekends? Good evening, everybody. Whichever couple collects the least amount of scorpions will be eliminated. These are Russian tortoises. Testudo horsefeldi is their scientific name, and they are gorgeous. Dobre Oh, and he loves the cantaloupe. We call it a cantaloupe down under. What do you guys call it here? You guys call it cantaloupes? Rock melons. Or rock melons. Look at that, he's hungry, he's hungry. Who else wants some? Do you want some more of that? And they love cactus. Let's see what it's like. It's actually not bad. Only here on the Food Channel. <laughs> G'day sports, my name's Barry the Kangaroo, you can call me Bazza, and have I got a ripper idea for you my fine feathered friends? Now, I see you two woodpeckers have a flying problem, which would make it hard to catch those tasty flying bugs up there that I see you eyeing off. So, here's the deal, peckerheads. I'll use my superior jumping abilities and snatch those bugs out of the air for your supper. And all you have to do is get those little pesky buggers out of my fur before I chew my own tail off. Whoa, danger? 
Nah, she says she just wants to show you how tall she is. But if you come across a black bear and they stand up like us bipedal animals, it's not a display of threat, as you see in TV and movies, and they aren't about to chase you down and use their hook claws to turn you into a blood sprinkler. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, they're actually standing up to get more information. A place on earth where time has chosen to stand still. Rare exotic beauty. Mystical island temples and unimaginable perfect waves. This is Bali. Hi, I'm Zach Hart and welcome to Planet Explorer. Where on earth is Bali? Well, Bali is a small island of Indonesia that you could drive around in about a day. And although it may be small in size, its prominence as a destination is enormous, and rightfully so. If you were to ask the surfers what Bali means to them, I have a feeling you might get as many answers as there is life in Bali's crystal clear waters. Bali is a living paradise filled with adventure and excitement. Pulse pounding surf, hypnotic temple ceremonies, mesmerizing volcanoes. These are six banded armadillos, your fractus sexinctus. And check out the armor on that. Oh, not my boots, not my boots. Here we go. Oh, geez, that was my finger. Hang on, no, no, that's my finger. There we go. Thank you. And I love banana. You'd think they were a monkey. Now, I would naturally like to see the primitive and tragic act of hunting come to an end. It's violent, unethical, and unnecessary for an advanced species like us to go and end the only life one of these individuals will ever have. Imagine if it was one of your family. All species have the right to exist. So let's strive to be better human beings. And we can start by removing these beautiful black bears from the hunter's game species list. They shouldn't be there. And let's keep these mums and cubs together. <laughs> 